they were down they, they weren't necessarily up they weren't in a winning position but because of a split push because of a, an execution a strategy that they were able to pan out they were able to execute they changed the tide of the game and they actually won the game for themselves wow this is next level cho that is this is only done from another moba i'm not gonna say which one it is but it is <laughs> a pull yeah they necessarily pulled the creep the yeah the minion wave which means that they can get it freely and now janna is level three wow, yeah, wow. okay this is a first for me, to be honest, in a in a competitive game like this. But meanwhile, as you can see, three players of white rats trying to go oh, on that, nice. on oh, that nice jawhead, wall. but nice wall there by that grog, but missing that possible kill on that jawhead. Now, meanwhile, in the bottom lane, just Jan together with the Cho, just trying to par up the levels of that Hayabusa because My of goodness. that beca because, of the, because of the creep pulling and Erminion pulling. Wow. Okay, I never thought that someone would actually play, but there it comes. Peace being taken out, Whoa. peace is down. That, that was is Martis. the problem <laughs> of DD and Olim and how can they stop that Martis? But the thing is, Martis got that first blood, and uh, yeah. the, the the problem of DD and Olim is not starting. But as you can see on the bottom lane, as you can see, Saber <laughs> is now down. I mean, Hayabusa rather is now down to Saber and Cho, just killing him. Yeah, the, you know, that's just the thing, right? They have the level advantage just so that they were able to power up versus that Hayabusa. And Hayabusa is not yet mobile as he is a hero when he's far if he's under level. There is gonna be the Mortar coil. It free. will not be enough though. There is gonna be a, a out from White Rascals, but still the Dino Limit still pushing through. Then again a choke Martis taken out. One. Martis takes out one as you mentioned. And I think that Lady No Limit will have to back away. Mortal Coil, another connection there from the Martis onto Peace. Nice Grok wall as well. And they will be able to slay out, Grok. slay down. I actually don't know where Grok still went inside, but it's okay. That was a mistake, Let's I would say. Let's see. Gushin killing that Martis, though. 4 to 2 in favor of DD No Limit. Well, at least. Well, well at least DD No Limit got, got, got that um, two, <coughs> 2. 2 kills. In their favor. In their favor, of course, but 7,200 net worth. The enemy has but slain the uh, oh, wow. Really? Uh, it was. A l there was a lot of misplay there from the side of White Rascals, despite them having good connections with their skills. I think that they executed really well. The thing is, they shouldn't have went for kills anymore. I think they should have just given up on those skills. I think that they will. They were. They should be happy All of right. just taking out one. But look at the Cho. Cho trying to be aggressive. Sees three trying to catch one person, but the thing is, where is the follow up for DD and Olim? It's just, it's just so trying to be annoying, be annoying. Yes, oh. indeed, that's true. But look at that, Martis, look at the damage of Martis Ulti on that Ulti show. Ultimate the activated by the Akai, they do have the control this time. But here comes the show. Gushan actually jumping in forward, taking out the Kagura. It's Meanwhile. gonna be a good snipe, that good assassinate coming out from the Gushan and Inuzaki, very low right now. Shinka Lafu. Chikalafu. Chikalafu, but meanwhile in the bottom lane, just Hayabusa. Just trying to hey, <laughs> back away. Be able to do so. Yeah. Wall, uh, onto a wall that's not the best wall. Usage. <laughs> well, they did, they, they did it, but then again, well, Saber they tried. left. By his lonesome, level 8 already. Level 8 versus level 7 Hayabusa plus 1,000 gold lead of that saver compared to that exactly. Hayabusa. And again, show being annoying, top, the top lane is not, the tier 1 tower of the top lane is not destroyed for White Rascals. That's the, th that's the thing. They let White Rascals pick that Marthas because they know how to deal with it. Deal with it. It seems like there is the ultimate from the Akai though. Daniel in trouble. Gets out. Rock is in here. Trying they, to be, we're we're oh, not trying to be oh. biased. We're not trying to be biased because of that Mars pick. It's all up to DD and Limit. How can they stop that? Uh, it seems like they're doing a better job as compared to White Rascals. Uh, as compared to White Rascals this time, it's a jawhead on 
moving forward. Shikalafu with the jump in forward. Janna is actually isolated. There's of his team here. He comes in. It comes, it comes to damage. Ooh, I mean, Aka is now down trying down to go for to the count. The first one situation. Kagura and just. And just but Marcus. Rock is right there. But as you can see, look at the damage of that jaw head. Okay. Just giving that. <laughs> the thing is, it's it's not enough for it's them to kill that Grok. Two versus one situation. Saber. The flicker out. But flicker out there by that Grok. But meanwhile, Cho versus Hayabusa. Hayabusa destroyed it. Tower ready, the there tower. comes a Cho with the jump in. And a follow up there by DD No Limit 3 first one situation. Let's see if Hayabusa can still oh, the wall. make this, but the wall of rock. It gets out. Dania sneakily takes out the turtle for his teammates. Mm -hmm. More DD gold in favor of DD No Limit this time. 16,000, 4,000 gold deficit in favor of DD No Limit. That was 5 kills deficit in favor of DD, DD No Limit. Oh, but no. it's not yet over. Just jaw head together with that show. Just trying to kill that Akai. Look at that aggressiveness that DD No Limit is doing on White Rascals, but a rampage there by that Gushin. It's just, they're, they're really on point right now. Yeah. Akai went in with that leap. Grok here trying oh. to stay alive, but Jawhead, I will come to you, and I will kill you. Five versus one situation, five versus two now. Marty is right there, but the damage of DD No Limit is real. Oh, Double kill there by Gushin. Four versus one, triple kill by Gushin. 12, three, nine kill deficit. DD No Limit knows how to destroy, knows how to deal with that Mortis. Definitely, I think it's more about their more about the mistakes that White Rascals are actually making this one because they can't slip through the damage of DD No Limit. We talked about that in the draft, but White Rascals, they also have damage. The thing is, they're not using it perfectly well, unlike DD No Limit. You see how White Rascals corralled in one by one. Actually, they were funneled through one by one onto the DD No Limit. Minakai landed a good ultimate, but there wasn't any follow up. Martis jumped in when the rest of the members are already dead. And that will mean that he was taken out. He was shut down. And Gushan takes another for the road. My goodness, DD No Limit. They're still not stopping. Well, for White Rascals, they're not utilizing all their core heroes well. You mean, you mean like th they can use Kagura well? They, they, they can use Agar Hayabusa better, but the thing is, DD No Limit is just too much for White Rascals. Oh man, really, really good for DD No Limit at this rate. Just a uh, damage from Inuzaki, the Martis, just a little bit of bug out to the jawhead. Here comes the rest of DD No Limit trying to pressure oh, the mid lane. See. It's gonna be a connection uh, from the Martis. Yeah, but but meanwhile, just needed a no limit, just buying time for that saber to push to push a tier two tower. But legendary now, a kill again for that for that for that gush and Akai killing Angela. But Kagura with a follow up kill now. But meanwhile, the bottom saber just trying to destroy the tier two tower. But Grog there to to the to the rescue. But. Yeah. That wall didn't. That wall didn't land at all. Daniel actually being very aggressive diving. He's actually in the middle for rock in a hard place this time. Taking so much damage from the tier tier three turret. Ten thousand gold deficit in favor of DD No Limit now. Eleven thousand now. Just DD No Limit is doing real good at this game. Now Daniel as well as Gio is trying to shut damage, able to take out the enemy turret. I mean the their enemy turret. It's tier two down in the mid. Gushan is actually being so aggressive this time. Forcing out the ultimate from the guy. This is really bad for White Rascals. And oh, here comes wow. the Gushan. Gushan knows the opening. He knows he has got the damage and was able to take out the Akai. This is really bad for White Rascals. Yes, that's true. And now DD No Limit is on the verge of victory. They know how to how to get an open how to get an opening. They know how to puncture the great wall of White Rascals. It's easy to pun puncture that said wall this time. It's really weak as far as foundation is concerned. Gushan, uh, really the playmaker for DD No Limit, able to take out that Lord already. More advantage going in favor of DD No Limit this time. Nine minutes into the game, and there is yeah. a 32,000 net worth well, it's, uh, for we'll DD No Limit. Look at 13k, the, sorry. Look at the KDA of that Gushan. It's 1102. My goodness. There's no limit, <laughs> definitely. There's gonna be no limit for that gusher now. Just white, and for me, they're just 
DDWM is just waiting for that Lord to get an opening and for oh, sure they're gonna die. split push on the on the bottom of the oh. mid lane. But the thing is that is the power of DD No Limit Akai. Wow, okay. wow Gushin is now dead! So this is an advantage of our right rascals. The damage dealing of DD No Limit is now dead, but as you can see, Jawhead kills one, Martin is now dead as well, but Angela killing one, but still DD No Limit is just too much for White Rascals, even if they were able to kill the Gushin, Gushin is dead. Exactly. Now they're pressuring this tier three tower, Geo, as well as peace. Very low in health, but they can still catch up with Agura. Ooh, just gets out one barely. more punch. Yeah, they, one more kick. Nice stun there from White Rascals, but they're still going through. That is Whoa. definitely a mistake. Well, I, well, I just saw him just trying to overextend again. But the thing is, that mid lane, that bottom lane is now destroyed. And the Lord Meanwhile, is here. on the top lane, the Lord is there. And now they're jumping from Chico. Will not be enough as the turret already taken out super minions mobilized for no limit this time and they're still trying to take down the lord able to do so but i think they don't have any more firepower to match up against dd no limit this time gushin is actually back to the fray super minion is now on for dd no limit and let's see now if saber can do something on this but as oh, you can see gushin just trying to dish out the that rock one versus one situation but here are the squad Members. of dd no limit okay he's what now a burst. down what a burst yes indeed and now white ross because what are you gonna do there's nothing there's little to nothing that they can do kaizoki actually tried to jump it forward will not get anything out of it there's still the damage it will take out the martyrs though was no limit as their members are slowly dying Double one by one kill. kagura down for the count daniel also oh. surviving triple kill for the triple. saber make that the fourth the fifth the ace the wipeout for one dd no limit zero in favor of dd no limit this is a little a, a, really a surprise i think i am really surprised in this for dd no limit they really are prepared for this for this draft i mean they yeah. were they let go of the martis